Hey everyone, I wanted to go over some new and exciting news that we got for Monster Hunter World and Monster Hunter World Iceborne, available both on PC, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series consoles. And that's the fact that Capcom went ahead and confirmed that they've now sold over 20 million units globally since the release of the game back in January of 2018. I'm gonna read over their presser a little bit just to go over their information and then go over my reactions to it. It says, Capcom today announced that the multi-platform title Monster Hunter World has shipped over 20 million units worldwide. This includes shipments of Monster Hunter World Iceborne Master Edition. In recent years, Capcom's promotion of digital sales has enabled it to realize long-term global sales for its major titles. With the January 2018 release of Monster Hunter World in particular, Capcom was able to propel the Monster Hunter series to a global brand status with the series' first worldwide simultaneous launch coupled with international and promotional activities, establishing a game that Capcom's best-selling title of all time within just months of release after being honored with awards all over the world. In the more than three years since the game's release, additional promotional digital sales, Capcom has also launched Monster Hunter World Iceborne, a massive expansion to the game, as well as bundles containing both titles, capitalizing on synergies with Iceborne and resulting in prolonged sales that led to Monster Hunter World to achieve a Capcom all-time record of 20 million units shipped. Also, in the Monster Hunter series and Monster Hunter Rise, which sold a cumulative of 7.5 million units on the Nintendo Switch as of September 24th of 2021. This title will also be released on PC Steam in January 13th of 2022, a demo version which has released on October 14th, and moreover, Capcom aims to further grow the brand actively, promoting the series overall including Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, a massive premium expansion for the title which is scheduled to launch in summer of 2022. And finally, they mention, Capcom remains firmly committed to satisfying expectations to all users by leveraging the industry-leading game development capabilities in order to create highly entertaining gameplay experiences. So there's a couple of things to clarify. First and foremost, they're just talking about Monster Hunter World and the copies of World that are included in the base version of Iceborne. What it does make me wonder is if they're actually counting all those copies that essentially people got to play on Game Pass, for example. Remember that the game was available on Xbox for a while via Game Pass, and I'm wondering if those are actually counted as sales. Presumably they do, only because once you start a save file, they count it as like a playable, a new person testing out their, you know, their game, so they actually probably count that as a sell. So that would be interesting to actually see if like, those people who tried it out on Game Pass also count and if they were actually willing to provide information regarding the breakdown of like the PlayStation, Xbox, and PC users all together, but they don't necessarily do that here. This also confirms that, of course, like they mentioned, this is pretty much the best-selling Capcom game of all time, on top of Resident Evil, Mega Man, and all those other bigger franchises that you would have thought, at the very least, over the years had accumulated bigger sales. But nope, that's not the case. Monster Hunter is definitely their biggest title. Now, what they don't actually mention here is their actual support, or at least the talk of there being, you know, Capcom putting all their games pretty much on PC heading forward as their, you know, leading platform, and then ca consoles become pretty much the backup support, pretty much, you know, the de facto, you know, they definitely don't want to lose sales on PlayStation, Xbox, or even Switch for that matter, but PC being the biggest, you know, thing that they look forward to as they release games on PC as the leading platform. And lastly, of course, they mentioned Monster Hunter Rise and of course the upcoming Sunbreak expansion, which they also mentioned as a massive premium expansion for the title heading into the summer of 2022. They don't necessarily tell us anything that we didn't already necessarily know. Uh, even the sales figure 7.5, this is something that we heard a couple of weeks back when I covered it. So that number hasn't necessarily shifted since then as well either. I do remember that they made a video just a couple of days ago talking how they dropped the price for Monster Hunter Rise at the very least the base game down to $40 here in the US. Expect the price tab to be about a third of what it actually was originally. So, you know, if you're paying in Europe, you know, 50 euros or whatever it was, you know, you're now gonna be paying about 35, I think is what I saw some people post. So definitely worldwide price drops do help. Uh, I'm not necessarily sure that's actually gonna help at the end of the day uh, when the PC version is about to drop and that version is gonna be fully priced 60 bucks as well. So uh, depending on whether those people are actually willing to drop in and play on PC at full price, you know, that's going to be a different conversation as well. But that's going to be all the information that I have for you guys today. It's interesting that they're still talking about the sales figures for Monster Hunter World only because I guess they were just so significant at the end of the day, and they're very proud of that for sure. 
But if you're brand new to my channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. See ya.